Hey guys, Matthew here from the MMAT YouTube channel. You may remember a recent video I made reviewing the Warrior Shotgun. Well, I recently got a neat little toy that may increase its versatility a little bit. This is called a 22 Rimfire Cartridge Adapter, and it's from GageMe down in California. And as you can see, it's just a chunk of steel that's been machined into the shape of a shotgun shell, except that it has a 22 long rifle chamber and a short section of rifled barrel drilled into it. And what that lets me do is fire 22s out of my shotgun. So how cool is that? The way it works is you simply insert the adapter into the shotgun and then you would insert the 22 round into the chamber, close the action and then fire away. You'll notice that the hole is drilled slightly off center and that's because 22s are rim fire activated, not center fire activated. The hammer is going to be hitting the center of the cartridge here which hits the primer which lights off the round. Well on a 22, if you hit the center of the cartridge, nothing happens. The primer is actually embedded into the rim and so whenever you have that in there, you'll see that this, the rim is actually on the center of the adapter so that's still going to light off the round. They do make these adapters in uh, other cartridges as well. Um, 9 mil, 38 special, you can even get uh, you know 12 gauge to 410 if you wanted to shoot a smaller shotgun shell out of your, your larger shotgun. Um, and those ones would be drilled directly in the center because all those cartridges that I mentioned are center fire which means the primers in the center but for rim fire it's just offset to the side and what that means is whenever you put this in the shotgun you're going to want to put it in the same orientation each time either up or down so that it's uh, centered with whatever rudimentary sights you may have on your shotgun because the barrel is so short on this it's less than three inches it's probably something closer to two and a half inches um, velocity is going to take quite a hit and I'm pretty sure accuracy is going to be affected somewhat as well. So let's take this out to the range. I'll chronograph it. We'll see what sort of uh, velocities we're getting and we'll see what sort of distances we can expect to be able to take small game at. 925. 905. 910. Okay, let's do some accuracy testing now with the Warrior. You can see in the background I've got two targets set up. The one on the left I will shoot with my Marlin 70. It's a semi-automatic 22 uh, with open sights. And then on the right I will shoot uh, another group with the Warrior. Um, and we'll, we'll kind of see what sort of accuracy we can get out of this. 
I would say that's probably the absolute maximum distance you're going to want to use this at. The trick is figuring out where to hold. The sights on a shotgun are not designed for precision shooting by any stretch. Uh, all they've got is a, a bead on the front of most shotguns and so once you can figure out what your sight picture is supposed to look like, you can sort of put the bullets where you want to put them. But like I said, up close, we're talking about a two and three quarter inch uh, barrel here. There's really no chance for that bullet to, to get any better accuracy than that. Um, also because it's just fitted inside of another chamber and there is going to be some movement there and you're just never going to get it tight enough for it to be uh, accurate enough to use at any distance farther than 20 to 25 feet. Fun to play with, definitely. I don't regret getting it. It will stay with my gun. Um, I have uh, just a little shell carrier in the back here and it just stays in the front position there and that way I, at least I've always got uh, my 22 with me out in the woods. So even if I'm just plinking, I just want to shoot some pop cans or something while I'm out there and I'm bored, I don't have to waste shot shells. Just carry a handful of 22 shells with me and I can have some fun. So um, will I use this small game hunting? I might. Uh, it will have to be a, a, a definite shot though, it's going to have to be a close shot, it's going to have to be a fairly large animal. I'm not going to try shooting a grouse in the head at any distance with this. Rabbits? Yeah, sure. I, I think rabbit, it, you would probably be able to take a rabbit with it. Nothing else though, I wouldn't imagine. A lot of fun to play with though. I hope you enjoyed watching the video, I hope you learned something. Shoot me a question if you got any, uh, comment below. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time. So I've got a leftover two liter bottle of water, so I'm going to shoot it out of the air with my shotgun because why not? <laughs> oh, good times.